You can use complex numbers to find a sum of real numbers. That's crazy. You need to know this trick. Consider the sum of e to the i k pi on n. Notice that s is just the imaginary part of t, because the imaginary part of a sum is just the sum of the imaginary parts. This is secretly a geometric series. We used a formula where the first term is e to the i pi on n, the common ratio is e to the i pi on n as well, and there are n terms. Notice that e to the i pi is just minus 1, so this simplifies to this. And now we're going to use a pretty useful fact. Whenever you have e to the i theta minus 1, you can factor out e to the i theta on 2. And this remaining term is in the form z minus z conjugate. And this is quite useful because it cleans up the expression. So let's apply this to what we have and simplify. Now we just take the imaginary part of this sum to get our target sum s. And that turns out to be cot pi on 2n. And so that's how 